Hey! Here you go, bud. There's a little sleepy back there. What's up, boy? Shit. Crack it down. Good guess. Yeah, yep. Much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What up, people? Hey, and, uh, just another day in the life of the Golden Gloves. I'm tired. Anyways, here we are in the crack of dawn. Uh, we are on our way to go pick up barricades. Um, it's early. We got a long day ahead of us. It's too early. And then we're gonna go set up the venue. No sleepy. Let the games begin Let the games begin Passed out All my friends went and passed out So much for the night Last round For AM lovers Oh that's how I come alive I'm gonna be a people person in a room of people People I'ma be the key for the win Let the games begin a people person in a room of people, people I'ma be the key for the win Let the games begin Yeah. 
again. Guys, how you feeling, dude? Good. Now, first fight of the Golden Gloves tournament, dude. You got to start it for everyone. How do you feel? Good. Yeah. And how do you how do you think you're fighting? Um, good as well. Yeah. You came out with the win. It was a hard fight, right? Mm -hmm. And he's coming out to tournament. Mm -hmm. So that means you fight your first day. You have another fight coming up again. What do you think you can improve on for the next show? Yeah? Can you be a little bit more confident in there? What do you mean by respect? Like showing people how to box yourself. There you go. If one of your friends is like, hey, I want to box, what, what kind of advice could you give them? Yeah, uh, how long have you been boxing? Here? Oh my god. Have you ever been to a Golden Gloves tournament before? Oh, this is my first one. This is your first one. So uh, what do you think of it so far? Good. Yeah? Cool. Are you excited for the rest of the week? That's good. Well, good job on your first win, dude. Your first one to come up and get your win. So good luck on the rest of your fights.
Alright, Isa, how are you feeling, bud? Good. Yeah. How many fights do you have now? Uh, one. One, this is your first fight, and you're doing out the Golden Girls. Were you nervous going to say, you know, hey, let's go do my first fight in Golden Girls? Uh, when I was nervous, but uh, I realized uh, I learned from this. There you go. And then what did you think when your coach was like, hey, we're going to fight? What was, it, what was your thought when your coach said? Um, were, you, were you scared? Were you nervous? I was nervous, but at the same time, I still did it. Yeah? There you go. And how long have you been boxing over there? Uh, like three years. Three years. So it's time you said, you know, let's go in the ring, let's, let's act up this awesome. So you came out, your, your first win in Golden Gloves. You have to keep your weight the rest of the week, right? Do you think that's going to be hard for you? Do you think it's going to be pretty easy? Ladies and gentlemen, yeah. our 60 out of the evening. First show ever. What do you think about that? Yeah? And you know the crowd's going to get a lot better. In the event quarter, off against the attack. And in Canada. Screaming in the back of the room. I just can't. 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 Yeah? Hey, go. Aim big, huh? So I was looking to choke this And then, uh, what's in your gym? Uh, in boxing. There you go. Well, congratulations on your first win, dude. Not only just in boxing, but your first fight in, in Golden Gloves. You're coming out with the win. Good job, and we'll see you the rest of the week. Congratulations. How are you guys? So, how many fights did you guys have tonight? Just one. Just one. Just how did the outcome one. come? How did it go? Uh, we lost. lost. It was a close fight, but... You know how it goes. There you Those go. Those girls fight to go either way, so yeah. it so happens. Go, go ahead and introduce yourself first. I'm Freddy Sandate. Um, Ismael Sandate. Okay. And you know, what's in your gym? Uh, we're working out of the Alvados right now, okay. but um, we're also on attack. Yep. So we, we use their gym, but we, we got our own thing going. Okay, so. cool. So how many of you guys have been coaching for? Oh, man. I started coaching my son when he was eight, Okay. and he's 22 now. Already? So, um, he's got over 100 amateur fights. Oh, wow. He made it to the Olympic trials in 2016. Um, he's got a few national titles. So, so we've been coaching for 10 to 12 years. Wow. Is that. And same for you? Yeah. Cool. And then, so when you when you guys have a boxing tournament like this, right? You you came out with a loss. You fought hard. All right. Let's get ready to go. What's what's the next step for you guys to get that kid ready again for the next show? The winner of the 6,000 and 75 pounds is the blue corner, Gabriel Reynolds. I know kids, sometimes they go down and things like that. You know, we got to motivate them and be like, hey, don't give up. Let's go. Let's push harder. This is only a learning experience. Let's get back in the gym and let's do it again. You know, a Just can't let them get down on themselves. Because once that happens, you know, it's a little bit harder. This is what we're going to do. So let's keep that on. We're going to do it here. Who's Harold Nagy? And then my son got into it, and then we started coaching um, my son, and then more kids wanted to tag along, so we just started picking them up around the way, and then we just said, we're already here, might as well help other kids. Um, as, like you said, you're a coach as well, you already know we don't get paid. We do this for the love of the sport, and I'll do it all over again. There you go, that's cool. I appreciate that, I mean, I see you guys at a lot of shows. You guys are phenomenal coaches. You guys are awesome to come up to, you guys are very approachable. So, I mean, I mean, it's cool to see that you guys are still doing this. It's not something that, you know, like you said, we get paid for anything. It's, we, we do it for the love. That's right. You know what I mean? So, going, did you ever, did you ever um, compete as well? Yeah. Okay, so being on, on the coaching side, as, um, as having the competition-wise, do you think that helps you be a better coach? Do you and, think that gives you an advantage? In a way it does, because yeah. you got experience, you've been in there, you know what to expect. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah, it gives you a little bit of an advantage. Yeah. So, being, being a, co a, a team coach system, I mean, what, what is your role in it, that being partners in this? Um, we, we, we try to split it in half, you yeah. know. He sees things that I don't see, yeah. and, and, and I see things that he doesn't see. Yeah. So, we might not agree on everything, yeah. but we always compromise, yeah. you know what I mean? And it's always it's always good to have another set of eyes. Yeah. You know, like I always tell him, I'm not always right. If you think I'm doing something wrong, correct yeah. me, and vice versa. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I think in order for you to have a good 
co coaching job, you gotta have that chemistry. Yeah. You gotta get along and you gotta understand each other. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then the same thing. Yeah, yeah, it's one of like two different, you know, it's two different people, two different so sometimes kids, you know, you gotta be a little bit hard on some kids, some kids you gotta be a little bit soft. So it's almost kinda like a good cop, bad cop type of situation, you know. Sometimes one of the kids is, you know, like, all right, we're gonna go be mean to him or you know, kinda push him a little bit harder than other kids, you know, so it's kinda like a kinda like the, the, the good and the bad, the yin and the yang, kinda yeah. like, you know, you gotta have both. Yeah. Because not every kid is the same, not every every kid, you know, you're not gonna approach every kid the same. So if you are a single guy, Sometimes kid, kids sometimes favor other guys better than other, you know, and that's just yeah. how kids are. So you know, you gotta be there for them. Yeah, definitely. No, I appreciate you guys. I had to get you guys in a little interview with you guys. And Anytime. Get you guys out there with more. Tell me you know, what, what you guys can be found. Um, if you can get a hold of you, what you can. Ninety second and federal right now. Okay. Um, but. Eventually, we're gonna brand shop and do our thing. Okay. So, right now, you can find us at Delgado. Cool. And uh, if anybody wants to reach me, my phone number is 720 270 9665. And again, I'm here to help. Awesome. Cool. Awesome. Thank you guys. You all. Anytime, bro. Alright, Gabriel. Last time I talked to you was the last show. How'd that show came out? How'd that, how'd that last night come out? Um, I lost, but... What do you want to tell us? But, that loss will catch you for Golden Gloves, right? Yes. Now, this is your second fight, and this is in Golden Gloves, man. How do you feel? Excited. Thank you, bro. Were you nervous before? Did when you, your coach was like, hey, you're going to fight in a tournament. What would you, what would, you think? Um, I was pretty nervous, and I was wondering if there's going to be tons of kids in the room. Like, wow, this is a lot. <laughs> There is, right? Yeah. So, me, now that you're in this tournament, you got to keep the weight every single day, right? Yeah. Me in the first tournament, do you think that's going to be hard for you, or do you think you can handle it? Well, I usually be on the weight most of the time, like, three times a day, I guess. Yeah? yeah. That's good. And then, what, what's your, what's a brain, uh, what are you thinking about in your head? Do you have, like, a song that you sing, or do you have a dance you do? And then what's something your coach is always trying to do when you're in a fight? Well, it's good to see you, man. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're first in here. You won for your first time in Golden Gloves. So I hope to see you the rest of the week. But congratulations on your win today, bud. Thank you. Good, good job. Bye. All right, coach, go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, this is Coach Ali. Let's get FS Boxing here in the United States for 23 years. <laughs> and I go with my gym from Paris. Oh, wow. And I take the bet. I said, I will go to the United States. I get five years. <laughs> if I'm good, I will stay. <laughs> I'm here 23 years. I love this place. There you go. There you go. So, how'd you get into boxing? How'd you get into coach? Yeah. I started when I was uh, 17. 17. And I was learning with my coach, my ex coach, four different styles. Oh, I'm wow. teaching me on all the United States, big check. I'm teaching boxing, big boxing, Muay Thai, and so on. All of them by me. Wow. I don't have that. No, people may be really happy. I competed with all these styles. Mm -hmm. And I said, you're a winner. I want to win one or the
That's awesome. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, Doug, hey, you know, it's uh, this awesome work you've been doing for kids. I work with uh, teenagers. I work with the guys. You know, for 40, 50, 60. I, you know, I got everybody. I, I, I do like that for guys. I want to be But I'm not saying, oh, you know, I do just like it. Yeah. I give a chance for everybody to come to yeah. And you know, it, what happened in 2008? So we are wrapping up two $250 grants to the team. And I'm proud of this. You're in this right now. To me, uh, you know, it's hard for your time to that. You know, I tell you, I know he would win. Yeah. And he was. So you got a young boxer out of that. He's a phenomenal little boxer. But you see, he's a pro and he doesn't stop. And he has a nice jab. This is the key. But he was a little bit too much excited last round. I want him to get more. But he said for a good for me. Can you tell me how if, if people want to show you, if they want to know what you're training at, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, me? Yeah. You, but you have my phone. This is going to be for the cheesecake factory. Pull out your phone. Oh, I need your phone number. If someone wants to get a hold of you, you want to give me your phone number? No. Yeah. Alright. I have my Facebook. What's your name? I think they have a boxing. I am so hard. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. I posted the podcast. Right. Yeah, my team is going to be. Don't watch that. No. Another chance. Well, we're going to change it. All right, so for the first year of the team, thank you, Coach. Uh, thank you, Coach. Congratulations. Thanks for coming. And we'll be yeah. seeing you the rest of the week. See you on uh, Friday. Yeah. 517449. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Where, 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 um, where did you come from? Right. There you go. How many fights do you have? Four. Four. How many golden girls do you have? This is your first golden girl? You can't win. You can't win. How do you feel? Yeah? Were you nervous before you fight? Yeah? Well, All right. I know about you. So, 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 what do you think about it? What's your least favorite to do? Uh, uh, yeah. 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 What made you choose that? All right, of the top. All right, the winner of the LPS that we've got is 517390. This is fun. 517390. Um, who's someone that you look up to? Who's someone that motivates you? Canelo? Or Canelo? There you go. Well, congratulations on your first win. All right, one more time. 517. Good work. 390. Enjoy this win today. We'll be seeing you this week, right? All right, I'm here with Carlos. Carlos, how you feeling, man? Good, yeah, man. And how many kids do you have tonight here? Uh, tonight, tournament? in the tournament, I had eight. Tonight, two. Two. Hey, one, uh, one of your boys already won. Yeah. And then you have one later on tonight. Yep. Yeah. How, did, how did it go, man? How did it go? The first fight that we had today was a, a new kid. Okay. With no fight. Yeah. But watching him spar yeah. and watching him fight against, uh, spar against people with experience, yeah. I knew he was ready. He came in once. He came and beat cool. a really experienced kid. Yeah, I got to talk yeah. to him. He's, he's, a, he's a cool little kid. Cool little um, kid. He, I'm, being a coach, you know what I mean? When do you say, hey, let's, let's go do this and let's go get a fight? When I see that, when I see that they're ready, yeah. when I see that they're mentally ready, when they have the skills, when they have the conditioning, and when they mainly when they want to, yeah. when they really want to fight, they, everything else comes, just comes along. Everything else just follows. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Especially being a tournament. Yeah. You know what I mean? Right. It's hard for a coach to be like, hey, you know what? You're, yeah. you're gonna have your first fight. Not only yeah. that, it's a tournament. This is the first time I've ever done it. Yeah. Yeah. Every other time we go to a tournament, my guys have like six, seven fights plus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. but, no, I knew. I saw. I saw what he had. And he did good. Right, cool. Now 
proud of you. I'm proud of Isa. Good look, good, yeah. And then not only that, uh, a while back you had a boy that won uh, silver gloves. Yeah. Uh, up in Compton. Yeah. And you guys have been all over, you guys yeah. doing it. So what, what is your, your process like? What do you go through and you approach? I mean, you set everything up. You know? um, well, this is this is what I, this is really all I do. It's just coaching. It's my only job. And so I, I dedicate, the time I wake up, I have a one-on-one. -on -one. At six, I got a one-on-one. So -on -one. 10 p.m., I'm just doing boxing. Yeah, so I got different different levels. But, but if someone get, wants to get a hold of you, so you can coach them. You know I mean, where's your gym at? Okay, so if you want to get a hold of me, go to A1 Boxing in the mall of the Town Center. Downstairs, or just Google A1 Boxing, and then or call, call ask about Coach Carlos. I'm the head coach. So if you want to contact me, just get in touch with A1 Boxing. And then uh, that's me. So far as with the night, you got one of your boys winning. Yeah. I mean, what do you think of it so far? Well, I mean, about the tournament? Yeah. I think this is a good location. I think that I always love seeing my family, my boxing family, you know? I can be after it, bro. Everything is good. Food is good. The setup is good. You guys got the interviews going. Yeah. That's cool. Everything is good. Yeah, it's good. Seeing you guys out here. I love seeing you guys coming out to eat. Yeah. And uh, you got a big team this year, man. Yeah, you just, just me by myself. The guys on the mic, I got eight. Yeah. In total, eight one. I think we have about 18. Wow. Yeah. You guys took a half of the bracket right there. Hey, you know what? Well, I think you did, man. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of people. That's cool. Yeah, the only thing, that this con the only concern this year is the coronavirus, man. Yeah, that's a big issue going on. Yeah, um, my brother, who might fight on Friday, is nurse at his school, got it. Man. Oh, wow. So right now I got to go check on my brother, make sure he's good. And on top of that, he shake hands with everybody. So, one person here has it, I think half of us are gonna walk away with it, you know what I'm saying? So I was concerned that they were gonna uh, cancel the, the tournament. Yeah, I can see. This is the issue. Now I guess we're in a state of emergency, Colorado is. So they just canceled uh, the Reno, the Nevada. Wow. They canceled the USA. Yeah. So I was worried that they were gonna cancel it. And I still am, you know, you never know. Yesterday we had like nine cases, today we got 15, tomorrow we might have 20, 30, by Friday we might have 50. So it's still, it's still, I think it's still in the air. Yeah. That's so it. going back with the Golden Girls, man, yeah. you, you have your first boy, yeah. one, one. Yeah. and he's through now. Yeah. And I mean, what's the next step? So, so, so the one that won today fights tomorrow for the championship. Uh, I, I have people fighting pretty much every day so far. Yeah. So I'll be here every day, my friend. And we have won two championship fights tomorrow. There you go. Yeah. And then after that, on Thursday, we have another one. Friday, we have uh, some semifinals. Cool. So hopefully, I'll be here Saturday for the championship, man. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. Well, congratulations Thank on your first one. Good. good luck on your second one tonight. Uh -huh. And then hopefully, we'll be seeing you the rest of the week, man. Yeah. Oh, man, that'd be good. That'd be really good. <laughs> the main thing, I'll be here Saturday, even if we don't make it. Awesome. I'll come support. Good. Yeah, man. Congratulations on your boy. Thank you, man. Hey, man, that's... Alright, Jeremiah. How you doing, bud? Good. Well, how'd you do your fight work? I think it was good. I just need to work on something. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? When you're in a tournament, you got a few days. Each fight, you got to get a little bit better, right? Yep. Okay. What's something you think you can improve on for the next one? Um, keep my head up because the ref is telling me. <laughs> there you go. Support my head. And um, when you're going into a tournament, what's going to say, hey, I'm ready, let's do this? Um, I, I have a lot of experience in tournaments. It's my third year here, so I know what's expected. I know what's going to be here on Saturday. I just accomplished Yeah, you got it. What's some tips? If someone who's never done training, what's some advice you'd give someone? Um, don't get people, don't leave your nervous to, like, excited. Yeah. Don't be too nervous to get in the ring.
it's something you're, you're always have to do or you always have to do. That's part of the world. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, before a fight, you said, you ever heard of you have a song you listen to or you have a dance you can do? Now I just said, just read it. There you go. Well, congratulations on your win, and hopefully we'll be seeing you in the rest of the season, huh? Good work. All right, tell me all about yourself, Coach. Uh, what's your name? What's your gym? Uh, my name is AJ Vasquez. Uh, I'm from Green, Colorado. I'm from Colorado. How long have you been coaching? I've been coaching now since 2009, so 11 years. I started off in Fort Collins, at the Outlaw Center, and I opened up my gym in 2010. About a year ago, it was good to meet him. Wow. And when you say you're not going to coach, you're not um, you know what it was, man? I had a homie that was, uh, well, first time I went to Northside, that was a community center, you know what I mean? But then, and uh, all the kids in the ghetto from the area, you know? Yeah. Well, they, they, they look for a different way out. Yeah. It's in the same area, you know what I mean? Same area. Yeah. I just figured out to get something back. I mean, it's strong. It's just in the area, man. I'm going to tell you, so, hey, let's open up the gym. I never looked back. And I was cool. I've been stuck with it. <laughs> So, um, did, you ever, did you ever compete or anything before? Yeah, me and my brother, man, we boxed when we were younger, you know what I mean? We were in Colorado, 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 we were in Colorado. So, being on the, on the coach's aspect now, you, you competed, you know it's like on that side, do you think it helps you be a better coach? Yeah, I think, I think, you know, I, this is an argument that I hear on the side, and that is, this is the way I see it. I think you can be a coach without a style, but you're not going to be a successful coach. And the reason I say that is because, to me, you have to have a style. You can't just go hire some parent like that and then say, hey, pay my house and expect someone to do it. You know what I mean? You just need to change. And so to me, it's like, yeah, like, I think you're probably too, like, my brother, he's been in Boston, and 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 he's been in Boston, you know, you don't, you're, you're not getting paid for this, right? Yeah. I mean, so, you know, what, what, what made you choose it? Why, why do you still do it? Now, you know, like I said, like initially it was just, it was something that I loved. It was an opportunity. And now, we all do it. You know what I'm saying? You go to the next floor. Outside of London, secondary, you know, outside of there, yeah. he's been the one that's been doing the last 11 years. Chief of the division, couple of years. Very record, Raul Pada. And so, I got to get a few buildings. I get a lot of kids from the hood. Four members, Lynn Goodson, Red Hill, Adrian Martinez, and yours truly, Adrian Romero. Give me a jump on the right hand and run it off. Yeah, I want to get out of my fight. Give me 
You didn't come out to me. But you know, there's always a way to get better, get better, get better, right? What's up you think you're going to improve on for the next time? I feel more punches while he's 13. But if you came out, that's not an easy thing to do is come out and play in the tournament. You work your butt off, right? And you're going to keep boxing though, right? That's it. Good job. Congratulations on getting this far, man. It's not easy to get into the ring, first of all. What, what's your favorite thing about boxing? Probably fighting. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Well, what's in your gym? Uh, my gym is here at Boxing Gym. There you go. Well, good job. You didn't win this year, but I better see you next year, right? That's it. All right. Yeah, <laughs> now, a lot of people they always have something that I'm like. Okay, now this this is a serious question, right? You gotta stay on your weight the entire week, right? What's the hardest thing for you to stay away from? Uh, you, you, you like pizza? Yeah, but yeah, I'm Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's always easier when you have family support you. And, you represent uh, what you do? A1. And when you come out, you, you compete, you come out with the win. And you better go home and thank your mom for making all those good veggies, right? Alright, good. Well, congratulations, dude. And your first win of the night. And hopefully, we'll see you the rest of the night, right? And good work, and we'll be seeing you the rest of the night. Go, go, go. Alright, Bobby. Tell me how you feeling today, bud. I feel great. Yeah? yeah. And uh, tell me your gym. What is your gym you present? Uh, Everyone. Triple Day Gym. Great. Great. How many uh, How many years have you been in Golden Gloves? Is this your first time or how many times? Uh, this is my second time. Second time. So uh, you already know what it's like. You're in a pretty shop. You know what it's like to be into a tournament. Yeah. I mean, what is some really more that advice that you give someone that's ever been to? Start going to be here. Work hard. And then when uh, the difference between you know, a tournament and a smoker, they're two totally different things. You, know? you have a tournament, you have it all over. You feel like your training changes when you have a tournament? Um, oh. Thank you. Training camp. Uh, yeah. And how old are you? I'm 13. How many fights do you have? Twenty third. Having that many fights, do you feel like you it's getting easier? Do you feel like it's still hard? What you know? It is. It is getting easier. Yeah. What's something you feel like you've always had a hard time doing? Um. Uh, the roof. The roof. I'm not sure. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. when you're in the ring, you're in the middle of fight. Everyone's cheering. It's dirty. Can you hear your coaches? Or, you know, I can hear my coaches. Yeah. But I can't hear anybody else. Like, I can hear my coaches. But I can't hear. Anybody. <laughs> I'm just focused. There you go. And then before a fight, do you have like a certain song you listen to? Or, you know what I mean? Do you have a, like a uh, ritual that you do? No. I, no? Just, I just stay home. Bro. 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 Last round, I won. <laughs> That's good. Well, congratulations, Bobby, on your win. And we'll be seeing you guys soon. Good work. All right, Jesus. How are you feeling, bud? Uh, I'm doing good. Well, this is my first stop in the Yeah? And um, get ready for a tournament. You know what I mean? Do you feel like the workouts get harder? Do you feel like the training still just stays the same? You know what I mean? Is there, do you feel a difference between like a tournament and a smoker? Yeah. Um, this is hard. The tournaments are Yeah. 
And uh, what's your game plan whenever you're going into a fight? Um, like a lot of, throw a lot of punches. Um, my head. There you go. And who teaches you all this? What's it in your gym? I am a boxing and I coach well, you work your butt off every day, and you stay in your training sessions, but in a tournament, you got to keep your weight the entire time, right? What's the hardest feeling for you to stay away from? Um, probably like knock <laughs> I think that's everybody's feeling, huh? That's a good one. Okay, and then um, in the gym, I mean, who's something you look up to? Who's something that motivates you? Um, like, like anybody in Anybody in general? Uh, probably Triple G. Yeah, there you go. And why Triple G? Why, why choose him? Uh, I just like how, how he fights, how he moves his head. There you go. And it's the first fight of the tournament. You think you're ready for the next one? Yeah. Good. Well, congratulations on your win today. And we'll be seeing you this week, man. Good work.